Okay. Good morning. I'm Eric Dinowitz, chair of the Veterans Committee, here with Councilmember Mysel, Ambry Samuel, and Eugene. Um, today we're, we're having the City Council's Committee on Veterans. Uh, the committee will vote on proposed introduction 0647A, sponsored by Councilmember Eugene, which would require the Department of Veterans Services to coordinate with local veteran service organizations to establish a hotline that would provide additional peer support services to veterans in need of mental health assistance. Peer support services are a valuable tool to help both transitioning service members and members who have been removed from service lead fulfilling and productive post-service lives. It is my hope that the legislation we are hearing today will help provide New York City veterans with the critical support and information they need. Thank you very much to the advocates and impacted individuals who brought attention to these issues and helped shape this legislation. At this time, I'd like to turn to my colleague, Councilmember Eugene, to make a statement on the bill. Thank you very much, Mr. Chair. And let me also thank all my colleagues in the Veterans Committee for their support. Uh, my name is uh, Martin Eugene, and, uh, and I'm very proud uh, to uh, support Intro 647A, legislation that requires that the Department of Veteran Services to coordinate with a veteran service organization to establish an outline to provide peer support services and information to veterans. As the former chair of the Veteran Committee on uh, Veterans and the long time supporter of local veteran organization, I am well aware of the horrible situation of the veterans when they get back from war and also the welfare of many of our service members also who return home with the mental and emotional uh, situation and baggage of being in war zone. These symptoms take their toll on the mental health of our veterans and make their return to civilian life difficult and even danger, dangerous. It is an unfair burden on both the individual, their families, and friends, all of whom want the best for returning soldiers. Uh, our soldiers, they have made the utmost sacrifice to defend our liberty and our freedom and to give us the opportunity to enjoy what we are enjoying as civilian, as elected official, as American. I believe that we owe them a good, great deal of gratitude by creating this uh, uh, program, and we will uh, make a very uh, important step toward our effort to, to make sure that when they come back home, they can receive the services that they deserve. Thank you so very much, Mr. Chair, and also thank you to all my colleagues, and I urge my colleagues to vote yes. Thank you, Council Member, and, and thank you for your work. I think a lot of veterans will be, will be helped by this bill. Uh, would any other council member like to make a, a comment or speak on the bill? All right. Yes, council member Ambry Samuel. I just want to say, um, you know, thank you so much for the bill. Um, everyone knows that I am a former military spouse. My husband served in both Iraq and Afghanistan and is now a disabled vet. And I know how important it is in this city to make sure that we have information and services readily available to our veterans who sometimes get overlooked. So I really do appreciate this bill and thank you so much, just on behalf of my family as well. Thank you. Mr. Chair, with your permission, I would be remiss if I didn't take uh, the opportunity to thank also my co-chair, Councilmember Carmen Yeager, and also all the staff uh, from the uh, Veterans Committee who work hard to make this uh, vote possible today. Thank you much. Uh, will the clerk call the roll? William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote, committee on veterans, proposed introduction 647A, Chair Dinowitz. Yes. Eugene. Yes. Mizell. Yes. Ampri Samuel. I vote aye. By a vote of four in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions, the item has been adopted by the committee. This hearing is now adjourned. <laughs> Where did you write this paper? I taught in the Bronx, uh, Kennedy and